Hi and welcome to Faith Knowledge Private Today. I'm Mr. Sal, and today we're going to look at two digit by two digit multiplication, three different ways, right? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to look at it, three different versions of how we're multiplying the same sum, right? And then you can practice and think about which one you think is easier for you to try. And then you're gonna apply those in your sums when you're doing multiplication in school, All right? Feel free to pause the video at any time to take notes and let's begin. Okay, so let's look at the first method. So this method, I like to call the traditional method. This is the method I used to do in school way back in the day when um, you know, dinosaurs really is, right? But this is the method I used to use. And it's called the traditional method. All right. So let's look at the steps that I've written on the side. So let's look at step number one. So step number one says, place a zero to hold the space in the ones column. So let's do it together. So I'm going to put the zero in the space to hold the ones column. So you can put a little smiley face there. All right, he's holding his face happily. Next, we multiply the tens and the ones. So we have number one, the tens, and we have five in the ones column. So we have one multiplied by five will give us five. All right, the next step we're gonna do, and of course you have to group where necessary, but in this case, it's one digit. So we leave five where it is in the tens column. Then we multiply the tens by tens. So one multiplied by two will give us two. And we put that two in the hundreds column. All right, so let's go again. Step three, All right? Right, so now, sorry, we're on step four now, we're moving swiftly along. So now we multiply the ones. So we have four multiplied by five will give us 20. Now we put 20 on the side, All right? I like to cross out the zero to let you know where it's gonna go. And it's going to go in the ones column, All right? We carry the two or we regroup the two and we put it on the tens. So I put add two, so you remember that you have to add the two when you find the product. So next step, step number five, we multiply the ones and the tens, and we will get four multiplied by two, which is eight. Eight plus two will give us 10. Right, step number six, all we have to do now is find the sum. So we add 250 plus 100. So let's add in the, from the ones column moving to the left. So zero plus zero, zero. Five plus zero, five. Two plus one, three. And there you have it, 350. Now let's see if we use another method, if we will get the same results. All right, so let's hop on over to the next slide. All right, so this is for the artistic ones out there who like to draw and color and paint and whatnot. So this is called the turtle method. So let's look at step number one. Step number one, we draw the turtle's head and neck. Now, I'm not the best artist, but we can get an idea, All right? Okay, it looks kind of weird, but 
right? That's the tuzu. He's smiling, I'm trying to make him smiling. Right, so that's his head and his neck. Okay, so let's get to step number two. We're multiplying the numbers in its neck. So those numbers are in the ones color. So we have five multiplied by four. Five multiplied by four is 20. Again, we put the zero, cross out the zero, put it in the ones. And of course we carry or we group the two. We add two. All right. The next step, we multiply the ones by the 10. So four multiplied by two will give you eight plus two will give you 10. And we're putting 10 here, lining it up. So one, one goes in the 100 column, the zero goes in the 10s column. All right, next step, number four, we're gonna lay an egg. So what does that mean? We're making a little Easter egg here. All right, we're laying an egg. So this egg represents zero. All right, so let's go to the next step. We're multiplying the tens by the one. So one tens by five ones. One by five is five. All right, then step number six, we're multiplying tens by ten. So one ten by two tens. One by two is two. And step number six, we find the sum. So we put our addition symbol. We put our total line. And let's add. And let's see if we will get back 350 like we did in the traditional method. So zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus five is five. Two plus one is three. Hey, look at that, 350, All right? So we can do this method. All right, let's go to the last and final method, the distributive property method, All right? So let's check this one out. <clears throat> So we have step one, you're gonna split the smaller number, the multiplier, All right, into tens and ones. So what does that look like? Four ones, one ten. All right, so now we're gonna multiply the larger number, which is 25 by the tens, and then we're gonna multiply 25 by the ones, which is four. So let's look at how that, that looks. So we have 25 by 10, right? And we can put 25 by one and we put the zero to represent the 10 in the answer, right? It's automatically gonna have zero in the answer, right? And then we're also gonna put 25 multiply by four. Okay, so let's solve for 25 by 10. So five ones are five, one by two is two. Let's solve for the 25 by four. So five fours are 20, cross the zero, carry the two. Four twos are eight plus two is 10. And then we find the sum. So the sum would be 250 plus 100. All right, let's put our total lines. And let's add them together and see if we get 350. So zero plus zero is zero. Five plus zero is five. And two plus one is three. Hey, we did it again, right? So we got 350 three times. So that lets us know that we can try any of those three methods and we will get the answer. So comment down below which method is your favorite and which one is the easiest for you to use. Or maybe you know another method that I don't know. So you could always share that with me too. 
All right, so make sure comment, like, subscribe, and share to others who may be struggling with multiplication. I know it's a big topic, right? But make sure keep practicing your tables, keep practicing your sums. And if there are any topics you want me to cover, comment down below. All right, take care for now. Bye.